Alrighty, hey there folks, this is Dusk Marksman here. As you can see by the title, I will be doing a video on how to install uh, Area 51 and patch it so that it runs correctly. Um, I do have a couple things to preface. Uh, number one, and being honest, uh, I will not include gameplay in this because for some reason while I have Marilla's action recording and launch the game, it causes it to crash. However, when I am not recording and, and uh, not doing any of that, the game runs perfectly fine. Uh, number two, I am running currently running Windows 10. Uh, I am not running Windows 11. From what I've read and what I've seen, uh, the fixes are relatively similar, if not the same. But I did at least want to put it out that I am not running Windows 11. This, this is specifically for Windows 10. Uh, I've done this install about four or five times now. It runs flawlessly um, every time I do. Uh, another uh, item I would like to add, uh, I won't be working on multiplayer. This is to strictly fix the single player story mode portion of this game uh, to get it to run on modern systems. So let's, uh, let's go ahead with all that uh, out the way. First place I'll want to stop is PC Gaming Wiki for Area 51. Uh, this website has been especially helpful if you like to play either abandoned titles or disc-based games, uh, as I do. Uh, so, when you're on their first page, you will see a free version. Go ahead and bring this open. This is the download I use, which is on ModDB. Go ahead and down that launcher. Scroll down a bit, you'll see Area 51 Preservation Project, done by a gentleman named Lucas. He did an exceptional job. Uh... Again, it says for Windows 10 and 11, so I'm assuming these will work the same for either system you're on. Uh, you'll go ahead and scroll down. I've read all of these. Uh, please take your time reading it if you'd like, especially if this is your first time doing this. But uh, the whole point of me doing this video is to attempt to make it uh, as easy as possible for you. So he has also got a link to download the game. So if whichever you would prefer to follow, go ahead and download. The next item you will download is this official update plus uh, multiplayer and FOV patches. This has three. It has Europe, Germany, and the US. Uh, go ahead and download this. It will download all three. And then the last is DirectX 9. Go ahead and open this. You want to direct, or uh, excuse me, you want to download this uh, set as well. Now, he does have two additional um, downloads. One for controller support. I will not be downloading that as I play mouse and keyboard. He also has another for wide, uh, widescreen cutscenes. I don't have any problems or issues the way I've patched it. Um, if you do, I would maybe look into this. Uh, but as far as that's concerned, let's go ahead and get started. So first we will use the launcher. Uh, again, I'd like to preface, I will, I will not be cutting any footage. Uh, I want this to be as simple to follow as possible. The download is only about two, three minutes, uh, so I will be keeping all of this in uh, just because I personally hate jump cuts and guides. Bothers me uh, jumping around. Sometimes it's difficult to follow, so I'm going to do this all in one go. You'll click next, find your whatever folder you'd prefer to download. Uh, this would be my preferred. Used to play this game on the PS2 a lot. Uh, very religiously, as a child, excuse me, um, wanted to download it with it being a free download, uh, ironically, by the uh, U.S. Air Force. Um, it is It struggles very hard on modern systems. Uh, it All the jank of 2005, unfortunately, doesn't carry over well. So there will be a couple extra steps before we launch the game. However, I assure you... Um, the four or five times I have done this, I've ran this install that many times and played. Um, every time, no issues. These fixes will fix uh, broken textures and lighting, which basically your game, as soon as you uh, enter the first door, everything is black, broken, shaded, whatever. Uh, the second being stuttering. Uh, this also fixes your stuttering issues. So you can see game was installed fine. Uh, don't bother running it. The DRM still in place. Runs like garbage. If it runs, go ahead and update, or uh, excuse me, open the folder that you've got uh, your installation in. 
First things first, let's go ahead and grab this uh, 1.2 patch again. Uh, depending on whatever region you're in, grab whatever. If you're in Germany, go ahead. Uh, but again, I am here in the U.S. Uh, there is a README. Uh, but again, I have done this a few times. So go ahead, let's grab all of these. And we'll plop them in there. Uh, replace the files in the destination. Go ahead and do that. We are done with this. Go ahead and click. Close. Uh, and then open the wrapper uh, group that he had, the second group. Go ahead and bring that in as well. Replace those. Now we are done with installs. We are done with all of this. Uh, the last two things that I have to do to get it to run, go to the Area 51 application, go down to Properties, Compatibility Mode, and drop down. You can see I've already got it checked for Windows XP. I don't know if Service Packs matters. Uh, I've been running Service Pack 2. Game runs perfectly fine. So you're going to go ahead and click Apply, click OK. Second thing we'll do is go down to your settings, open control panel, go ahead and bring that up. You're going to go to programs, programs and features, and under this will be turn windows features on or off. Go ahead and open that there. We'll open a little window here in front of you. Scroll down to legacy components. You can see I've got it checked. Uh, when you originally select this, this is what it'll look like. Go ahead and check mark direct play. Click OK. Close both of these. And you are good to go. Um, again, I am not going to launch the game because every time I do whilst I'm recording, it crashes. Um, but as, as many times as I've done this so far, uh, it has worked flawlessly for me. You can open the game. Uh, immediately change your uh, resolution. Uh, again, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 monitor. And once you launch in the game, you should have no issues. I uh, just wanted to do this again because I, I spent about a couple hours banging my head against the wall. It was frustrating. Um, there are guides that specify downloading certain features, some that don't, some that mention doing this, some that don't. Um, and it's, it, it was frustrating. But uh, for me, this has worked properly every time I've done it, um, so I hope that it works for you as well. It should, again, especially for Windows 10. Um, if you have any issues or concerns, please comment. I will try to look into and see if I can figure them out, but uh, if not, have a blessed day and enjoy playing the game.